multiple electric vehicles on fire at a Tesla service center in California. This incident happened in Miramar, California on Friday, September 13th, and it involved four Teslas on fire outside the service center. Anytime you have multiple vehicles involved right up against a building, it's a difficult situation to deal with. Not only do you have to worry about extinguishing the vehicle fire itself, but you also have to worry about extension, the fire actually catching the building on fire. And you can see crews are working not only to extinguish the vehicles, but they're putting water on that building, trying to make sure that that fire doesn't jump from the vehicles to the building. There's a misconception out there that when an electric vehicle catches on fire, it just spontaneously combusts. That's not necessarily always the case. And in this situation, we believe an arsonist was involved. They're still working out the details, but I suspect they've got a lot of security footage available to look at the situation and try to understand how this vehicle started on fire. This fire started at 1.30 a.m. And when you look at the aftermath, the fire damage on these vehicles, it doesn't really look like there's anything left. It does appear that the batteries were damaged and burned in the fire. But ultimately, you don't know until you pull that battery case apart and you really look at the batteries. There could be stranded energy inside that battery box. And that's exactly what fire crews found out. About 6.30 in the morning, crews were called back to the same Tesla dealership to deal with one of those cars that reignited. You can see from this video footage right here, around 7 a.m., one of these vehicles still has the battery off-gassing, smoking. There's some type of thermal runaway event likely going on inside the battery case. This is a tricky situation because ideally, I'd like to see these vehicles pulled away from the structure. That way you don't have to worry about the exposures catching on fire if there is a reignition. But ultimately, this is also a crime scene because they suspect arson. So when you're dealing with a crime scene, typically you've got to leave those vehicles in place so the investigators can do their job. There still is a hazard here. Even if one of these vehicles, the battery didn't actually go into thermal runaway, because the battery box itself has been thermally damaged, you still have that risk of fire. You've got high voltage bus bars, high voltage cabling, plastic components in there. They're very likely heat damaged and melted, and there's some type of damage inside that battery case that when you go to move these vehicles, you do have a chance of reignition. Fire department did mention they were gonna keep a crew on site just to monitor the situation in case there was another reignition in one of these vehicles. And that's a smart move, but it also ties up resources that could be used elsewhere in the city. I'm currently keeping an eye on this incident and I'm looking for any updates. If they show up, you'll see them here.